Hi there and welcome to Plugin Guru's first quickie video. Quickie videos are new short videos that show you a new virtual instrument, show you a production trick or other cool thing, just give you some cool ideas, introduce you to something, and then we're out of here. Um, and we're looking at today, Native Instruments Massive, which is a virtual instrument that's been around for a long time. One of the reasons we're looking for it is because I have a new series of sounds for it. So there's a, a new power pack, one of my power packs. I have power packs for Native Instruments FM8, which is their FM synthesizer. I've got a power pack for Spectrosonic Stylus RMX. And now I have a power pack for Native Instruments Massive. And this is 82 patches, completely tweaked out, dialed out to the nines. I mean, there's some really great patches. Everything's got eight knobs all signed to do really cool things. Um, you can get it at my website. There's also a demo version of that power pack you can download, which has 10 patches for free. And if you don't have Massive and you want to try it out, you can go to nativeinstruments.com and download a free demo version to try it out. So we're going to do two things. We're going to first do a quick tutorial just to introduce you to Massive a little bit. Maybe show you a few tricks that might help you if you're stuck with it a little bit because it is not a conventional interface. Um, and then we'll look at some patches. I'll play through a whole bunch of patches and give you an idea of the power pack at the end. So if you look at the interface here, you've got right here three oscillators, oscillator one, two, three. You have a noise oscillator. If you click here, one cool thing with this is that the noise has a whole bunch of different types of noise presets. Its interface is actually very easy to understand in that there's these little boxes underneath all the knobs. And the boxes correlate with those are assignable modulation sources. I know this is connected to the cutoff because this is number one, blue, and it's going up here. If I also wanted an LFO, all I have to do is click on this little box and then click right there. And then I can click and drag on this to change the intensity. And if I control click or right click, modulations are the modulation sources in the middle, the blue ones and then the green ones, these guys right here. Um, in the middle, you have random, you have velocity as a modulation source. And then at the bottom, you have macros. So instead of an LFO, if I wanted, I could say two. And now I've got a, a control for this knob right here. So once you get to that concept, you can look at a whole bunch of patches and you can see real quickly things that have ones and that are blue. The blue ones are envelopes. The ones that are yellow, as far as modulation sources, those are going to be your controllers down here. And then green, that's like an LFO, one of these three here. And one thing to show you when you hit these, um, these you have four envelopes and then you have four um, of these green, you see LFO, you see perf, and you see step. Each one of these, if you click right here, you can actually click and change an LFO to be a performance sequencer where, and you have a load waveform button, you can click here and choose different waveforms and now you can choose different waveforms for the steps. So this is how they do all the really cool, se if you've gone through the factory patches, you'll hear all these cool rhythmic sequence stuff. This is how they do it. And the way that it even more powerful is that there's actually two. There's one here and then there's a separate one down here. And if you turn off the load curve display, you can see right here there's a crossfade sequence. So you can go from up being the top sequence to down below being the bottom sequence. And if you're on the LFO, you can have, that's why you see two LFOs here. And you have two LFOs top and bottom, so you can have completely two different waveforms that you crossfade between with the crossfade LFO slider. This is hugely powerful. If it's this one. Um, LFO shape. That just changed with that, with this one knob, I changed to this busier shape. Okay, so you can see there's a whole lot of power by being able to, to assign different things. Let me show you some more about it. You've got um, a page here for voicing. This is very important. This is where your polyphony selecting is. Um, it's default at 16, but you'll want more if your computer can give you more. Also under global, um, it's really important to, you can choose preset quality and global quality. Um, so if you want, you can say, I don't want anything to go above high. All right, so you've got the attributes page, which shows you all the different um, assigned uh, things you can do category-wise and the, the details for the patch name. You can put your own name and where so forth. Browser is the button for where you save or load patches. And when you, um, when you install the power pack under my sounds, you will find them right here. 
Here's your search button. So you can say search. I want to search just for synth. And I want it to find pads. And I want it to be fat. So you can go through all the things that say they're pads. I'm going to try not to kill my audio. Because <laughs> it sounds bad if I... So these are the factory pads. And then here's Plug and Guru pads, which are real pads. The other ones are not real pads, if you ask me. Uh, the pads are really cool for the... There's not a sound like this in the factory library. That's why you need the power pack, because I I give you the patches that should have been in the factory patch in the first <laughs> They didn't exist in the original factory voicing, but you need these sounds. And I give you cut off over here. So All right, let me show you some patches from the Native Instruments Power Pack that I've created for Massive. And I have to go to the Voices page, and I'm going to set my polyphony to be fairly low. There's, a, there's lots of bells to be lovely. These bells really need lots of polyphony because the envelopes are long. So Then we get to the BPM stuff. Stuff like this is really cool because uh, on the macro control. So basses, of course. By the way, with the patches, I didn't assign anything to the mod wheel because it's really easy to choose, say, cutoff and just go MIDI learn by right clicking on any knob and then move what whatever knob on your controller you want. <laughs> cool leads. In the entire factory library, there's not a single basic noise sweep. And I made this one really powerful with all the knobs. So you could change the attack to be fast. And to close. So there you go. There's a taste of Massive and the power pack I've created for Massive. And uh, we'll see you shortly on the next Plug and Guru Quickie. We're going to do a whole bunch of Quickie videos. So this is just the start. So see you soon.